this project I worked with Matthew Bort, who's a 3D artist, and he's phenomenally talented. And uh, this work was a mixing and an evolution of work that he had done before, which was called Hypnagogic City. We worked together with the NFB and created a version of his future Toronto uh, that became Bedauben. Bedauben is a VR experience. The heart of this work is an imagining of a future Toronto where all the elements of nature have sort of come back in. Nathan Phillips Square is sort of the center of systems of governance. It is a kind of reflection on the systems that we govern ourselves by and a bit of a questioning of it. Given that half of Canada's population uh, that's indigenous lives within cities, and I've always lived within cities, I was just like, well, why don't we think of cities as indigenous? Cities are totally indigenous, and cities are full of vibrant indigenous cultures. And so I've centered Badaban in the middle of a city and sort of claimed space in that way. So the title Badaban means the first light just before dawn. The three parts of the word actually are about the past and the future colliding to create the present moment. This was important to me because there's a rising tide of indigenous futurism. What indigenous futurism does is it looks to break through that tendency to stereotype everything indigenous as stuck in the past and, and incapable of moving into our present or our future. <laughs> I knew that there would be language in a future Toronto, and I knew that the languages that would be uh, included would be Wendat, Anishinaabemowin, and Ganyangeha, or Mohawk, and uh, that's because those are the languages that have been traditionally spoken here. They have been there for thousands of years, so that the way that they can describe that territory is highly refined. When you dig into the cultures and the thought systems and the philosophies and the ways of looking at the world are so valuable and what's more, I think they're really needed these days <laughs> in our world. I mean, let's go back a hundred years in Toronto and take a look at photographs of what it looked like. We'd be blown away. It would seem so radically different from what we see today. As humans, though, we have a hard time projecting into a future where there could be more nature or a different vision of what this world could be. And I've done so much mentorship with Indigenous youth and emerging filmmakers. And so for me, it would be great to see that community and other communities we haven't heard from take their imaginations, use this technology to create new worlds that we can all experience, and uh, that's what I would like to see my piece kind of provoke out in the world. <laughs>